So the main reason why I started this project was to uh, see if I could figure out, you know, how to write the code to make make it all happen. And and really, to me, like um, the most fun about this entire project was actually writing the code. Um, so if, if anybody out there wants to know what it's doing and how it works, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explain that. I'm using the Arduino IDE to uh, to compile my code but I'm using an external editor to actually write the code on because it's a lot easier to use Sublime than to use the editor in uh, in the Arduino ID. So this is the main class, it's just storing all the variables that I use in the program. Uh, here I'm establishing a uh, serial uh, connection with that uh, object and I'm starting it at you know, the 9600 baud rate so that my ESP uh, can talk to the servo controller um, setting pin modes to to uh, output and the each one of these pins are digital outputs that switch inputs to the ADC pin on the ESP since there's only one ADC pin on the ESP to take um, voltage readings from different sources I had to uh, use digital pins to turn transistors on and off to um, get different voltage readings from different sources. Uh, and then down here in our loop method, we have, uh, so we're, we're, we're making a call or we're making a request to tweet to get, um, the data that we're storing. <clears throat> and then we are parsing that response. We're just grabbing the time, the date, uh, and all the values that we're saving. And then we're setting up a readable time to use that uh, use the time like the hour and the minutes and everything to um, <clears throat> to post back to Dweet <clears throat> so that freeboard can display the time uh, like down here display the time of the last update and then and then it starts tracking um, then when it when it calls the start tracking method it uses uh, the date the time and all those other different variables that, that we stored uh, to do to do the tracking. So in the get data method, we're um, just making a git request to tweet um, to this URL here. <clears throat> My device is called Mr. Roboto. Um, and this this returns um, this returns a response that includes the date, time, and and all of the different variables that we have stored. And then we're parsing the response. This is just uh, basically it's a utility that I pretty much hand wrote all this um, specific to what I needed. I could have used like a JSON parser or like some sort of library, but <clears throat> I just grabbed each uh, string in the JSON or each each part of the JSON and and then just stored it into different variables like the year, month, day, time of day or the hour, the GMT hour. The Greenwich Mean Time is what we are using in our um, calculations for the to get the angles of this uh, solar panels. Uh, and then start tracking is in this main file. So up here we're checking that, okay, if we're connected and uh, our current time is less than uh, the sunrise time or greater than the sunset time, which means, so we're checking right here. Okay, if it's nighttime, uh, if the sun is set, um, then I'm gonna I'm gonna set my servos to a neutral position, which is uh, azimuth 180 and elevation 90, which is pointing straight up to the sky. <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, make a make a request to tweet. And what <clears throat> basically I'm just passing in a uh, a list of parameters that's going to be added to the URL when we make the git call <clears throat> or the git request to tweet. So you can see x equals something and y equals something and light equals something. It's the uh, same way if you um, were to make a call or a request to a server and you wanted to add parameters, this is doing that. This is passing this entire string of parameters into set data in um, client ops. So right here I'm setting this data, I'm passing in that parameter, that entire string is a parameter. Uh, make it a get request <clears throat> and uh, this is this is a standard for for Dweet. If you want to make a get request for a certain object or a certain thing 
you include uh, the name of the thing with a question mark and then plus your parameters of what um, of what you want to set <clears throat> of the parameters that you want to set that it stores if it's not nighttime then it's going to come down here and say okay if if it's not connected if i didn't obtain a connection which you know if, if you're trying to connect a tweet it, it returns a failed response it's going to set the boolean connected to false and it's going to um and it's just going to set your stationary position if it's not in stationary mode and if it is connected uh which means that so if it is connected we got a date and time value and all the uh all the other values that we need uh, so it's going to calculate the solar position it's going to set the azimuth based on the the azimuth value that it got from calculating it's going to set the elevation to the uh, elevation value that it got from calculating um, and then these numbers here I'm, I'm passing in it's just a it's a delay time after it sets <clears throat> uh, because we don't want the servos moving while we're getting a voltage reading because it causes a pretty significant voltage drop on that reading um, and then after we're done doing that, we're, we're going to post those values. That, that should probably say something else because it's not really posting to Freeboard. It's posting to Dweet. Or it's, it's, it's actually making a get request to Dweet, but whatever. These are the values that we will post to Freeboard. <clears throat> uh, and then it's going to sleep for the uh, the amount of time that you give it for daytime sleep, which I have it set to about 20, or it's, yeah, it's 20 minutes. So when it's calculating the solar position here, uh, it is doing something very crazy that um, I, I have no idea what this is doing. I got this code from uh, uh, from a guy called, named David Brooks. Uh, he were, He's a president of the Institute for Earth Science Research. <clears throat> um, but this, basically this algorithm or this calculation, these calculations came out of a, uh, a book on astronomic algorithms and David Brooks wrote this code based on those uh algorithms and it works perfect it's awesome then it's setting azimuth and elevation and it's getting those azimuth and elevation angles from these methods uh and then set azimuth and set elevation is coming from the servos class that i have or i don't know if it's a class or not but it's just a file I'm a Java guy, so everything's a class, but using Arduino, C sharp, or I'm sorry, C, I think it's C or C++, um, like everything has, all these files have access to each other, so they're not really classes, but whatever. Uh, so set azimuth, you pass in the degrees and the, and the mil, how many milliseconds you want to wait. And then the same with uh, setting elevation, you pass in the degrees, it uh, maps those um, values uh, and then it's, uh, actually the, these are mic these are um, microseconds. Uh, the servo controller controller accepts uh, quarter microseconds as the values. Uh, so it's it's taking that the target, which is the um, the value that I need to pass to my servo, and then it's multiplying by four to get the quarter uh, quarter microsecond value that we need to pass. And then we're just calling um, the Maestro Micro Maestro library. Uh, dot set target um, and which channel you want to send that uh, value to which I have the elevation servo plugged into channel 3 on the uh, on the servo controller and then the the value that you want to set it at which would be the angle um, then we're delaying and then we're setting the Y position to that degree and that's it it's making a call to a server it's grabbing all that data uh, time it's grabbing your time basically and it is uh, it's, it's calculating uh, your azimuth and elevation angles based on the time of day day of year and your latitude and longitude and then it's taking those azimuth and elevation values and radians converting them to uh, degrees it's passing the, it's passing the degrees into the uh, the set azimuth and set elevation methods which set the servos which then it converts the degrees into a uh, quarter microseconds I, I guess i could have like just converted the the uh a, the the radians from the azimuth and elevation to just quarter microseconds and bypass the uh the, the angles altogether but we still need the angles so that we can display them uh in freeboard 
so this is doing a deep sleep mode. The ESP has a deep sleep mode, which only draws about uh, 0 0.07 milliamps while it's sleeping, which is nice because, uh, you know, as, uh, if you have a small battery that's powering it, you can just do something. You can make a call to a server or whatever, uh, go to sleep for however long and not worry about drawing a whole lot of current from your, uh, from your battery with your device. So it's nice to, to use that. But when it wakes up from deep sleep mode, it actually resets everything. So you can't store any local variables. Um, and that's, that's another reason why I'm using Dweet is because uh, you can't store any local variables using the deep sleep mode with an ESP8266. So whatever variables you want to store or that you would store locally, you would send them to Dweet, sleep, and then wake up make a call to do to get those uh, values and then store them back into your variables that you would need to use in your program. So that's about it. That's about what it's doing. Um, if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments below and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to answer what I can. Uh, have a good day.